being a performer at Stirling Castle. Up status. Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel, I hope you're doing well. So before we start this video, I do have to apologise for the state of my hair and my appearance. What day is today? I think it's Saturday the 3rd of July, might be wrong, might be the 4th, no I think it's the 3rd. Some of you have been kind of asking me about the job and asking to do like a video about it, which obviously I'm more than happy to do. So that is what this video is going to be, so I'm just going to do a little intro just now while I plait my hair for tomorrow. I have my mirror up here, so that's where I will be looking. And as I plait my hair and do my skincare, I'm just going to explain the job a little bit and then the rest of the video will probably just be me showing little clips of it I guess because tomorrow Sunday the 4th of July is my first shift my first day <sighs> so I'm nervous excited so the job is being a performer at Stirling Castle which is just incredible and like I said in my other video that I made about going for my audition things like that I just can't believe that I got the job and there were so many people that applied for it and there was only four of us that were hired which is just insane and I just feel so so lucky to have got this job and this opportunity and I'll be working like two or three times a week up at the castle half nine until half five so the actual job is costumed interpreter basically just means that we we will be dressed up in the kind of period costumes recreating the royal household in the 16th century so like king james v and mary queen of scots and all of that kind of stuff and i've had a lot of stuff to learn i've been trying to learn over the past week or so and um, that they sent out to us we have to kind of make our own scripts i guess like for each room in the palace because the palace of king james v has loads of rooms i think there's five or six rooms that are open just now and it's sort of like a one-way system so everyone will come in through the palace and they just like walk through all the rooms. There's four of us each shift, so we will each be in a room as the guests and visitors come in and we'll like tell them about the room that they're in. That's the job right now. But as of hopefully August, middle of August kind of time, we can start doing the actual performances again in the Great Hall, which is what the job would originally be. But because of COVID and restrictions and things right now, you're only allowed a certain amount of people in each room. So we can't do the full performances right now. But hopefully they'll be starting again very soon, which is very 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 exciting so it'll be like doing the performances throughout the day again dressed in the period costumes and they have really beautiful gardens at Stirling Castle if you've never been highly recommend it it's the most beautiful place sometimes like maybe during the summer things like that they said that in our costumes and stuff we can be like walking about talking to people in the gardens and it's just so exciting I'm gonna start playing my hair I thought I was the only new star but there's this other person as well that's starting their first shift tomorrow so I'm not gonna be by myself which is really nice our boss is gonna be obviously Obviously helping us a lot throughout the day. The staff that are on will obviously be there if we need them and things like that. So obviously we can just do our best and we can just try to like figure things out. It's our first day, you know, it's not going to be perfect. So we have to be up at the castle, I think, for about nine o'clock. I think it's ten o'clock the castle opens at. So we will be getting into costume, hair and doing hair and things like that. You know, and I also have to kind of pack my bag for tomorrow. So again, I'll come back on and do that as well for you to see what I have to pack it's not a lot of things i just want to kind of pack everything you know and um, just in case my mum is gonna drive me up just because she's off tomorrow but i'm also working on monday so monday the 5th i'll be getting the train up so i think i might video a little bit of that going up to the castle that way as well i'll film little bits of the castle but again my main focus will be just getting myself ready getting prepared my first day my first shift so i'll see how much i film or how much i can film i don't know if i'll be allowed to film a bit of my skincare routine i do have a full skincare routine on my channel if you want to go and check that out after this video it's my first kind of professional acting drop which just makes it even more exciting hi so it's been a couple of hours i think it's probably like nine o'clock maybe but i'm just about to pack my work bag for tomorrow which i'm very excited about okay so this is the bag i'm gonna take i think i bought this maybe like two years ago in italy and it's just the most stunning bag i just never use it so i just thought let's make it like 
the work bag but it's just a sort of really big spacious bag so, you know I didn't want to take anything that's like really outrageous you know because my boss will like meet me at the gate at the castle tomorrow and she'll be like Amy are you staying overnight in the castle and then I'm gonna pack my lunch and stuff in the morning to put in I've just got socks no these aren't socks what am I saying these are black tights that are just from Tesco that I bought earlier on because I need black tights for underneath the costume this little Jack Wills bag I just put in this little mirror that I have which is really cute Parmex, like a plaster some other like lip balm like just some little things throughout the day just in case I need it this is just a little small bag with some paracetamol some Kirby's I just have some socks just in case I have my portable charger I think it literally has like two bars I might need to charge it up actually I have my Ted Baker body spray oh I have my deodorant but it's over there hold on deodorant this is the smaller version of this that I have so I thought I'll take the smaller one I have a black mask because we have to wear plain masks and then lastly I have my little hand sanitizer this is the capacity we're at right now if I put this in the top I don't actually know if it's gonna fit so this actually might need to go in a separate carrier bag I'm gonna try and have an early night obviously we don't want to be late it's definitely not what we want and then I will see you in the morning I'm on my break just now. This is the outfit. Wait, let me turn this way. This is like the lower class lavender of the court sort of outfit. Um, so yeah, I'm on my break just now. I'm just having some water. I have like a half an hour break, so I'm just gonna chill here. I'm in the Queen's inner hall next. So I'm gonna just look up the stuff that I need to know about that. This is like the comfiest outfit ever, like I'm so comfy. And yeah, I'm just sitting here. The view is amazing for where I'm sitting having my break. And um, just looking out on the castle, it's amazing. About half 11 just now, I think. So we're almost sort of halfway through the day. I'm gonna finish just at five, I think. But yeah, it's been amazing so far. And I just love this costume. I've got some really nice like pictures and stuff taken. So I'll insert them as well here. And um, my boss took the pictures and he wanted some pictures for their Facebook page and things like that. Um, and they're really cute, it's how they like them. But yeah, the basically the outfits and things, as you kind of are here for longer, you kind of move up status. So, you know, who knows, maybe by like in the summertime I'll be like high status who knows but yeah it's very exciting all the costumes are amazing the team the staff like everyone is so amazing here and it's just it's been really great so far so yeah that is my update for just now this is also the view from the window that I'm sitting at how amazing is this view I'm just so in love with being here I also forgot to say right now as well my low status character her name is Mad Tulloch and we're in all the rooms and stuff you know we have to introduce ourselves i also have a broom as my prop but it's downstairs so that's quite fun i just like walk about and i'm just like sweeping and talking to people and it's quite good as well because i'm like a low status character if somebody asks me a question i don't know obviously because this is my first day like i don't know a lot about the palace and stirling castle and all that so if somebody asks me a question i can just say like oh i am new to the the royal court and you know i am a simple lavender <laughs> of the court and you know you can kind of pass it off to somebody else is kind of what they were saying to do. There's a lot of information being kind of thrown at you. You know, we're sort of like shadowing experienced staff members and, and things like that and other people in our team. We get to kind of shadow them in the rooms and hear what they're saying to the guests and today is just about shadowing people learning. I think though next I'm in a room by myself <laughs> which will be fun because I've had a couple of hours of shadowing. Next I'm in the Queen's Inner Hall but I'm in by myself so that'll be fun. <laughs> But yeah, it's gonna be like it's over. Cause it's been hard, you know I wanted to stay, caught us off guard. But there was no other way, did you wait? Cause I've been counting the days, and I'm calling up to say, I'm coming home.
I'm coming home. Okay, so right now it is about two o'clock. I'm eating lunch, I'm having my bagel. The day has been so good so far. It's been a lot of information to take in. You know, you're trying to like listen to what the more experienced staff members are saying in the other rooms and you're trying to sort of remember it and then try to remember what to say in your own room. I was just in a room for like an hour and a bit myself, which was fun. <laughs> you get into the swing of it, I guess it's just getting used to it. I don't know when I go back down, I don't know what room I'm gonna be in next if I'm still gonna be by myself in a different room. So I'm gonna look up my stuff that I've written out, like my research and stuff, just to be prepared. But yeah, I finish at just after five, I think, and then get changed out of costume. But yeah, the day's going really good so far. So it's been a really great first day. Oh my gosh, there's a rainbow. That's so pretty. Update, it's about four o'clock. I'm on my last break because I finish in about an hour, I think. I finish just after five and then I can get changed. But it's very exciting. It's been such an exciting day of just kind of trying to get to know things, get to know everybody. Everyone is so great, everyone's so lovely. Um, and they've really, really helped a lot, which has obviously been so amazing. I'm just looking out the window. Right now it's raining quite heavy here in Stirling. Everyone sort of went inside, which causes some problems sometimes, you know, because we can only have a certain amount of people per room. And so you have to try and keep to a maximum amount of people per room. Sometimes it's a bit, it's a bit of a challenge sometimes, but that's okay. So I'm working again tomorrow and I'm getting the train into Stirling tomorrow in the morning. So I'm going into Glasgow and then getting the train from Queen Street to Stirling. I'm excited to have a little morning routine for when I get the train in. So going to like Starbucks, getting some breakfast and getting a little iced coffee probably and then getting the train. I'm really excited. I've never got the train to Stirling before and I think it'll just be really beautiful. So I'm going to like video all of that. So this has been the first day but tomorrow will be the first day sort of getting the train in and that experience of doing all that first. So right now I'm in the dressing room little dressing rooms and then that's all the costumes that are hung over there and yeah I'm just getting ready to leave it's just after five o'clock just now and I will see you tomorrow I'm coming home we'll stay up till morning and head out exploring make up for moms that we've missed cause the cold air is calling and my head's recalling the moment that i was convinced we'll stay up till morning and head out exploring make up for moms that we've missed cause your lips are calling and my heart's recalling the way i could never resist it's been so hard Hello, so it's the next day, my second day. And yeah, this is my first break. I'm just having some of these little Belvita breakfast biscuits. And yeah, just sitting back at the break spot in front of this beautiful window. All good so far. We've only been open for maybe like an hour and a half, but I honestly feel like it's went in so quick. I feel like we opened like 10 minutes ago. It's so strange. I feel like today I will just fly in, to be honest. So I was working in the Queen's bedchamber for the first hour and a half, kind of by myself, which was fine. That's probably my favorite room. Big fan of that room it's really beautiful and then i think i'm now going to do the queen's outer hall which is the very first room so i'm gonna have a look just now over what the paragraph scripts that i've written for that just to have a look to refresh that and yeah i'll go back down at 12 o'clock hi i just got home so it's about half past six I think been away since maybe just after half seven this morning so it's been quite a long day. It's been really great though because I feel like today I kind of retained a lot of the information that I was being told and I was hearing basically most rooms I was in myself today and taking them by myself. But my hair is, is an absolute mess because I have this cap thing that goes on my head. My hair needs to be like braided in this lace so it was, it's been in like braids the whole day and I just took them out so now it currently looks like this. And when I got home as well I wrote down like a full list of everything I had sort of learned that was new today because I've been making these sort of little script paragraphs on each of the rooms in the palace just so that I can keep adding information to it because I'm not working again until Sunday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday I'm working next week because I don't want to forget everything that I've learned so I've written it all down. My feet and back are just very very sore. One of my um, bosses and a girl who is amazing that I work with, she said to me just as we were finishing there like you'll probably be sore for 
quite a few days till you get used to it. I think it's all because of the costume and the shoes we're wearing are very very flat shoes and the castle as well is obviously stone concrete floors we're walking about in it all day and yeah like the shoes and stuff they're quite hard and like you know they're just completely flat there isn't really any support I guess for them you can kind of feel the ground underneath you it's obviously a very hard stone concrete floor sore feet and back <laughs> um, but that's just what it is I guess um, until I get used to it could I do some yoga but yeah it's quite funny because I feel like you know we've been talking the entire day we've been talking since like quarter to ten this morning maybe for a lot of hours talking lots and lots of people obviously entering the, the castle and things like that but that's what we were all saying as we were going up to get undressed you know out of all the costumes and stuff we were saying how at the end of the day you just your brain just isn't working we feel like we for me anyway like I just feel like I can't like formulate a sentence because we're just like brains are just so tired by the end of the day and um, because we've been talking so much I think there was a couple of people that just came in right before we were leaving because we finished at five so we can leave the palace at five even if there's people coming in they can just make their own way through and things like that so it was just before five and I was finishing up with this this one girl and um I was just speaking absolute nonsense like I don't even know what words were coming out of my mouth um, but yeah I just wanted to end this video here and say thank you so so much for watching I know it's been a little bit all over the place but, but yeah I'm really excited to kind of work my way up sort of thing and eventually maybe hopefully be sort of high class status dresses and because they're just absolutely the most stunning dresses I've ever seen. Leave me a comment down below let me know if you enjoyed this video if you would like to see more on this job at Stirling Castle and um, thank you so so much for watching this video I really appreciate it if you enjoyed it please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe down below it really helps me out and I'll see you in my next video bye